Have you ever wondered what happens when a nation rises from decades of dependency to create its own wings of power? What if I told you that China's Chengdu J-10, often called the vigorous dragon, is more than just a fighter jet, it's a symbol of transformation, ambition, and defiance against the odds? Stay with me, because what you're about to discover will not only surprise you, it might change the way you see the balance of air power in the world today. Before we dive deeper, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and check out the description below where the full link to our next video awaits you. Don't miss it, because that one connects directly to this story in ways you cannot imagine. The J-10 story begins in the late 1980s and early 1990s, when China was still relying heavily on older Soviet designs like the MiG-21 and license-built J-7 fighters. Beijing knew that the future of its air force could not rest on outdated relics. The West was rapidly moving ahead with the F-16, Mirage 2000, and later the Eurofighter Typhoon. China had two choices, remain dependent, or dare to create something entirely its own. It chose the harder path. Thus, the J-10 project was born under Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, with the mission of building a fourth-generation, all-weather, multi-role fighter that could rival the best in the skies. From the start, the J-10 was cloaked in secrecy and skepticism. Many analysts doubted that China had the industrial capacity, the technological know-how, or the design philosophy to pull it off. Some even dismissed it as a copycat attempt of the F-16. But what happened next stunned the aviation world. The J-10 was not a direct copy of anything. Yes, it drew inspiration from Western Delta Wing designs and from Israeli projects like the Lavi, but it evolved into its own unique beast. With a large Delta Wing paired with canard foreplanes, the J-10 achieved incredible agility, rivaling even the most advanced dogfighters. Its aerodynamic layout gave it super maneuverability, allowing pilots to execute high angle of attack turns, sharp climbs, and evasive maneuvers that could confound enemy radars and missiles. At the heart of any fighter lies its engine. Initially, the J-10 relied on the Russian AL-31FN turbofan, an engine known for its thrust and reliability, derived from the legendary Sikhoi family. But China never stopped pushing. Determined to remove dependency, Beijing accelerated the development of its own WS-10 Taihang turbofan engine, a power plant that marked a new chapter in Chinese aerospace independence. With each upgrade, the WS-10 brought not only raw thrust but also improvements in reliability, fuel efficiency, and lifespan. And speaking of fuel, this is one of the most overlooked aspects of the J-10's design. The internal fuel capacity was increased significantly compared to its predecessors, giving the jet extended range. Combine this with external drop tanks and even aerial refueling capability, and suddenly the J-10 could reach far beyond its traditional defensive role. It could project Chinese power over the seas, patrol contested regions, and even serve as an escort for long-range bombers. But fuel and engines are not the only story. The avionics suite of the J-10 marked a turning point. Equipped with digital fly-by-wire controls, modern radar systems, and electronic warfare pods, it transformed from a basic airframe into a networked predator of the skies. The KLJ-3 radar, for example, gave it beyond visual range engagement capability. Later upgrades, such as the J-10B and J-10C variants, introduced active electronically scanned array ASA, radars, infrared search and track IRST, sensors, and compatibility with the deadly PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile. Imagine this. A fighter once dismissed as a copy, now firing one of the world's most advanced missiles, capable of threatening even stealth aircraft like the F-35. The J-10 is not just about fighting jets in the sky. Its multi-role design means it can also deliver precision strikes against ground targets. With guided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and precision strike packages, it became the backbone of China's regional air strategy. If you picture the South China Sea, Taiwan Strait, or East China Sea, the shadow you see on the horizon might very well be that of AJ-10 patrolling the skies. Now let's take a step back. History is not just about machines, it's about the people who fly them, and the symbolism they carry. 
For China, the J-10 was more than hardware. It was psychological proof that the nation had crossed the threshold of modern military aviation. The nickname, Vigorous Dragon, itself was chosen carefully, blending cultural symbolism with a message of strength, resilience, and relentless progress. Over time, the J-10 has been upgraded through several key variants. The J-10A was the baseline model, entering service in the early 2000s. The J-10B introduced improved radar, stealth features like a reshaped intake, and enhanced avionics. And then came the J-10C, the most advanced variant yet, fully capable of operating as a fourth-plus generation jet, bridging the gap until China's fifth-generation J-20 matured. The J-10C in particular stunned observers because it was capable of using the PL-15 missile, giving it a reach longer than many Western jets could counter. It wasn't just a dragon anymore, it was a dragon with claws that stretched across the horizon. Another fascinating detail lies in its production and export. The J-10 has not only been fielded by the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAF, but also exported to countries like Pakistan, under the designation J-10C. For Pakistan, it was a game-changer, adding a highly capable fourth-plus generation fighter to its fleet. For China, it was validation that its indigenous jets could stand shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder with American, Russian, and European fighters in the global market. Let's talk about combat performance. While the J-10 has not yet been tested in a major international war, its training exercises and simulated combat reveal much. Reports suggest that in dogfight simulations, the J-10 has shown itself to be highly competitive against legacy fourth-generation jets like the F-16. With its ASA radar and PL-15 missile, it could even threaten advanced opponents. Critics argue that Western jets still hold the edge in stealth and battlefield networking, but the truth is clear, no one dismisses the J-10 anymore. It is a respected contender. Fuel efficiency, payload capacity, weapons integration, every aspect of the J-10 reflects the evolution of Chinese aerospace engineering. From its twin-wheel landing gear designed for short runways, to its modular avionics that can be upgraded without redesigning the entire jet, the J-10 embodies adaptability. And adaptability is the true secret weapon in modern warfare. Now here's the big question, what does the rise of the J-10 mean for global power balance? It means that the age where only the US, Russia, and a few European powers dominated the skies is over. China has joined the club. The J-10 is not the end of the journey, but it was the critical stepping stone that made the J-20 possible. Without the J-10, there would be no stealth dragon. Without the J-10, China might still be struggling in the shadows. Think about that for a moment. The vigorous dragon is not just a machine, it is a marker of a nation's will to rise, to challenge, and to redefine the future. And whether you admire it or fear it, one thing is certain, the J-10 cannot be ignored. Before we wrap up, remember this journey of discovery doesn't end here. Our next video, linked in the description, takes you deeper into the evolution of China's air power, and you won't want to miss it. So go ahead, subscribe right now, hit that like button to support this channel, and share this video with others who love military aviation as much as you do. The story of the skies is unfolding, and you're now a part of it.